Ooh. Ooh. Do y'all see me? I'm glowing, okay? All right. Anyways. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Kayla and me. It's back with another video. Today, I'm going to be doing, as you can tell by the title, my foundation routine. But anyway. I hope you guys like this video. It's um very simple. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven products, eight products, really not that bad. Everything in this video except one thing is actually drugstore. So that's good. Cheap, affordable, easy, easy. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into the story. Alright guys, so I already have my eyebrows and my lashes done. No, my eyebrows are not perfect, but I'm gonna go with it today. I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. primer. You can get this from the drugstore, um, like Walgreens, Target. I got mine from Target. Or you can use any other primer that you already have. And just to make sure that my makeup lasts a little bit longer than usual, I'm going to use my Makeup Forever powder. Um, this is in the shade... powder to set my primer you can overdo this just because you want to put foundation over anyway so if you look ashy or whatever you want to call it it's okay all right so now we're gonna go into our foundation I'm using the LA girl pro matte HD longwear matte foundation this is in the color golden bronze if you're curious as to what shit I personally use and I'm gonna put this all over my face and I'm gonna use a brush to apply it. Sometimes I use a beauty blender, but I feel like a brush applies it more like airbrushly. Is that even a word? Airbrushly? I don't know. But I use one to two squirts of foundation. Now it does dry fast, so you have to work with it a little bit. Y'all. I forgot what I used to put on my concealer. It's okay. We're gonna figure something out. Yeah, I'll just use this brush because like I'm so irritated. Right now. But anyway, I'm next gonna go into another LA Girl concealer or LA Girl Chroma HD foundation, and this is in the shade Caramel. I'm gonna use this as concealer. I'm gonna use my bronzer brush, so we're gonna have to just use this. Because, you know, it can multitask for different brushes. And a little bit on my forehead, not too much. Just for something for my powder to kind of stick to. Alright. Now I'm going to go in with this Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade Medium Deep. And I'm going to use this to bake or quote unquote highlight. And by the way, the brushes that I used before... These two are bestoke brushes. This is a um, makeup shack brush. I don't even know the name because it came off. And then now I'm about to use my Morphe M554 brush to help me bake slash highlight. You know, a lot of powders, you set them off for too long and they stay the way you put it on. And I want this to blend out, so I'm just gonna pat it in, let some sit, and then leave it alone for a little bit. So, I'm done here. And then while we let that bake for a little while, I'm going to go in with this little brush. I don't know where this is from. It might be Best Dope as well. But then I'm going to go in with the True Complexion Contour Palette in the shade Medium to Dark from Black Radiance. I'm going to go in with that contour shade. Fix that for a little bit. Give it some cheekbones. Try to put that as much as possible because you don't want it to be harsh. Now it's time to wipe away the rest of that powder, so I'm going to take that same brush we used earlier and wipe it away. Now because we use super matte products, our face is looking real dry. So we're going to spray it with the e.l.f. matte makeup. 
Magic Medicine Set. This says matte, but it doesn't really dry as matte, so we're just gonna use this. But I also wanted to use a matte spray because I didn't want it to be dewy. It'll dry and it'll look fine. Let's see. Our face looks okay. So now I'm gonna put on this lip gloss. Now I'm gonna go with highlighter. I use different highlighters. It depends on how I'm feeling, what I feel like grabbing, whatever. And this is the Wet n Wild um, Mega Gold Limiting Palette in the color Catwalk Pink. And I take that last shade on the end and I apply it right here. I apply it right here. I put a little bit on the bridge I know. I have a little brush, but I'm using my finger today. I'm going to put it under my brow right here, in the inner corner of my eye. That's what the highlighter looks like. And you know, sometimes I might take it up further. You know, just blend it up here. Because usually what I used to do is, I used to go, and it's too much. So, you know, just take a little bit you have and just bring it up. And you're highlighted. All right, you guys. So this is the finished look, you know, nice and flawless. So hopefully you guys like this video. Um, if you do anything different, let me know down below, and stay tuned because I'm gonna be doing a review soon on some new products. So I'm really hyped for that. I haven't bought them yet, obviously, because I haven't dropped yet. But stay tuned for that video. So, like I said before, um, if you guys like this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Comment down below, like I said, what you do different in your routine. Comment down below more video ideas. And don't forget to click that bell so you can get notified whenever I post our videos. So, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!